In the early morning of April 17, a missile was fired at the military aerodrome located in Kangkoi, Crimea. Local telegram channels reported on this. After the strike, a strong explosion and fire occurred. The extent of the damage and losses are not reported. According to some information, the airfield where Russian helicopters were located in Crimea was hit by Atacams. Tsangkoi is an active state airfield in Russian-occupied Crimea. The 39th Helicopter Regiment of the 27th Composite Aviation Division of the 4th Air and Air Defense Forces Command of the Southern Military District of the Russian Federation is stationed there. Additionally, there are three aviation squadrons with Mi-8, Mi-35M, Mi-28 and Ka-52 helicopters. Border Service helicopters of the Russian Federal Security Service are also stationed at Zankoy. Ukraine has not confirmed the responsibility for the explosions in Crimea. However, in recent months, Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military bases, which Russia used to attack Ukraine. Kremlin-appointed authorities in occupied Crimea reported later about the closure of a highway linking Zankoy with the village of Pobidin. A military airfield is reportedly located in that area. Ukrainian partisans have discovered Russian air defense systems at the Zankoy airfield. The partisans note that the Russian command is trying to close down important infrastructure facilities by all means possible, but there is a critical shortage of air defense systems. The U.S. Army plant in Scranton, Pennsylvania that specializes in artillery ammunition caught fire, according to local media reports and eyewitnesses, local emergency services were summoned to deal with what was described as a structure fire. The Joint Munitions Command Facility is owned by the U.S. military but operated by General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems. It makes 155mm and 105mm artillery projectiles, 120mm mortar rounds, 203mm naval shells, as well as a variety of smoke, illumination, and incendiary rounds. The US has been trying to ramp up production of artillery ammunition to supply Ukraine for its conflict with Russia. Scranton is a community of about 75,000 residents in northeastern Pennsylvania. It is the birthplace of US President Joe Biden. The Scranton Army Ammunition Plant has been the leading source of U.S. joint large-caliber artillery metal parts for more than 60 years. Artillery shells are produced there, then shipped to another government facility in Iowa for explosive filling before being brought into the Army inventory. The Army's strategy was to modernize the Scranton facility infrastructure and production capabilities by capitalizing on state-of-the-art manufacturing equipment and technologies while maintaining the same level of hardware production. The Russian invasion of Ukraine completely changed the dynamics of the 155mm high-explosive munitions. Production strategy at the plant and its modernization pace, the demands of the Ukrainian battlefield generated an urgent need for increasing production and accelerating modernization efforts in Scranton. Ukraine is ready for negotiations with Russia. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said this in an interview with the US TV channel PBS NewsHour that he said that official Kiev is really ready for negotiations with those who want peace, but Russia does not want peace. So we understand that Putin is not ready for any negotiations. He doesn't want. He's not interested. For him, this is not victory. He needs victory. And, for him, victory is to destroy Ukraine. Moscow does not intend to negotiate for the end of the war. According to Zelensky, the peace summit will be held in Switzerland in mid-June this year, a plan to end the war will be prepared. This summit will be held without Russia. Because Russia can hinder the plans. Zelensky also said that children in Ukraine understand everything, they, including my children, believe in victory more than some of our partners. Our children know the answers to all questions. They understand that the end of the war depends on some factors. But they are sure that we will win. Our children do not doubt it. The country's leader noted that his children are worried about his fate, I think they are afraid of whether I will survive the war. Zelensky said that Ukraine will not be able to win without the support of the United States, frankly, without the help of the Congress, we will not have a chance to win. 
this is very difficult for us. Because Russia is superior in terms of personnel and equipment. He also stressed that Russia is attacking the territory of Ukraine from the occupied Crimea.